सो हेलो एवरी वन नीरज हेयर एंड होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ अवर डॉगर एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम प्रीवियस सेशन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव लर्न सम एक्चुअली वी हैव सीन डॉकर इन एक्शन एंड वी वी आर ऑल्सो एबल टू सक्सेसफुली बिल्ड अवर फ्लास्क एप्लीकेशन एंड वी सक्सेसफुली डॉकोराइज दैट so now come now there is a there are some uh, some let it, let us go let us understand the some basics of docker and uh, why it was needed and why docker was developed and why it is so popular so by the way docker has been uh, has become an and uh, an uh, industry standard and uh, like especially in terms of micro serve creating micro services and in today's uh, modern era so all the industry the software the whole software development industry they are uh, going through towards the creating micro services instead of uh, monolithic services so that is a huge top topic actually and uh, we will discuss that in some other day in some other session the differences between the monolithic uh, software and a microservice architecture and what is the pros and cons and uh, and so on now let us today in today's session so let us concentrate more, more on the need of docker and uh, what docker can do so if you were coming from python background so you might have heard the concept of uh, the term uh, virtual environment so just try to recall that uh, a little Uh, go back into your memory and try to recall that uh, what virtual environment is and uh, why it is needed so you can think of it you can you can feel like virtual environment is also iso is a isolated environment we with virtual we using virtual environment we isolate our uh, dependencies and uh, we install our dependencies inside the uh, the virtual environment and uh, that is the way of development that's fine so far so good now that but but the thing is with virtual environment the python must be installed inside your machine right so unless python is is not installed you, you won't be able to uh, run a virtual environment and moreover that is uh, that is good for uh, uh, development purpose but what if for example say you uh, built an application and uh, you developed your application and uh, uh, you need to share your application to your some some of your coworker and your coworker is of uh, is working on java he doesn't know anything about python so okay so in that situation if you give your code to your coworker he needs to install while working with uh, Uh, your application or maybe your maybe his application uh, his micro his, his service on which he is working on that service needs to consume some uh, uh, output from uh, or uh, output or from data from your application your python application so in that case you need to uh, while uh, you give your application your code to your coworker your coworker also need to Uh, install python and create virtual environment and uh, install all of uh, uh, repeat uh, repeat all the steps what you did for the your in during your development right but what if like uh, uh, if you wish to i mean uh, you you need you you wish to ensure that okay so what code i have written so far what my application is so whatever dependency whatever software it requires just bundle all of them together and give it to my coworker and your coworker is free to execute it to run it uh, in his machine irrespective of uh, whether python is installed in uh, in his machine or not or uh, whether he has knowledge of python or not okay so that means you need to you need require some kind of uh, technology some kind of mechanism so that you can bundle all of your things including your operating system you're right because it might be it it might be very likely that uh, uh, you are working on a linux machine and your coworker is working on on a mac machine or your co or other coworker is working on a 
uh, on a windows machine right it can happen so docker comes in action in this situation and by uh, the basic uh, purpose and basic functionality of docker is that uh, docker ensures that whatever code whatever uh, whatever application code that is built that is that that is built uh, in the image so wherever it would be installed irrespective of whether uh, the host machine is linux windows or mac it doesn't matter so wherever it is installed and it it will uh, it uh, it will be executed with the docker run command so it will execute and it will it will work appropriately most exactly and uh, most efficiently in the same very way like it was originally developed the machine on which it was originally originally developed it would work just like that okay so you can think of it something like some other in in the plain words in the simple terms you can think of it as uh, you were cloning your all your uh, uh, whatever whatever the application code you wrote you developed your software so whatever resources whatever system resources you used so you are bundling it together and you are cloning repeatedly multiple times so wherever i mean in on on the other on your cowork on or on the the other host machine only prerequisite is that, that they need to install docker and docker should be available on that machine and simply there is a one single line of a statement single line of instruction with the docker run command so it will execute your image your bundle would run over there uh, inside inside a container okay so think of it and uh, think of it uh, think of docker as creating a container and that container will have its own operating system its own code its own dependencies so what your application requires right and uh, and now question comes in that how it will communicate to uh, outside or to the rest of the world so obviously yes like in uh, previous session you have uh, you might have noticed that uh, we used uh, one expose inst instruction and we exposed one port inside the docker so actually the port we expose uh, within our docker image docker do while building uh, in the docker file what port we exposed so that is the only window you can think of it as a window or as a hole a small hole through which it can communicate to the rest of the world and vice versa it can listen on that port and it can uh, uh, it can really respond or receive request and and so on however we can expose uh, multiple ports as well we will see that in action in coming sessions so enough like uh, uh, hope uh, the basic use and why the why docker was needed why it was developed so it is clear up to up to this point fine so in the previous session also like the the first thing is to install docker so go to the docker.com website and here click on this uh, button download docker desktop so this uh, this software is available for mac windows and linux so if you are running mac so go click on that link and uh, and download and install and follow all the instructions over here it is it is well written so there won't be any problem and similarly for windows it is much more simpler very simple very easy you just simply need to download it and follow the instructions by the way just download it and it's a self installer so after you downloaded it and simply uh, there there would be you will find installer and you simply need to double click it run it and follow the on screen instructions with linux i am using ubuntu as my linux machine so i have followed that and uh, in the uh, previous session also like i advised like for me for me uh, while i was installing docker desktop so it uh, raises some some issue so i first installed docker engine and then i installed docker desktop so that is why my docker desktop is running so here you will find all the in the in the image images you will find all the images which is available on my local machine 
and the containers right now it is empty because there is no running container so but if I try to run it if I try to run it and I'll need to by the way container you can see container port container is able to listen on port 5000 and I need to map that port from this from the rest of the world so my host machine like I I, I think like 7000 port is empty and uh, I'll, I should be able to communicate from my host port 7000 to the container port 5000 so let's run it and when you run it so definitely the output is there and now if we type in localhost port 7000 so we are uh, getting our uh, application output and uh, and uh, all this thing is running fine by the way this is running inside a container so we are see we are seeing the output from the container that thing we already saw in the yesterday session in the previous session so that thing is clear and by the way don't worry so we will explore we will go very deep into it and uh, we will try to understand each and every piece, single piece of uh, information that is needed as a as, as a developer or, or for a developer perspective i am trying to explain that and uh, one more thing that you should also install and by the way i am i use my i use vs code as my default editor so go to extension so click on this uh, this button and here search for docker and we'll find us this extension just install it so this will actually uh, boost your development uh, experience enhance uh, this will enhance uh, enhance your uh, development experience and speed up the things and uh, once you install install this so you will find this icon and here you can also see from right within the within within vs code you can see whatever the containers whatever the images and you can do many things actually like volumes and blah blah and many many things you can do from right uh, from inside the v inside vs code okay so this is the basic uh, uh, prerequisite and why docker was needed why docker is and what i we can do with docker so docker in simple once again i am reiterating that docker ensures that whatever application that is running in on your machine that will run on uh, wherever uh, that image would be would, would be uh, run through uh, through through docker run through docker run command okay so simpson in simple terms that is it and uh, Okay, so I think we have covered the basics and uh, other things, a uh, few stuffs like Docker Hub. Yes, Docker Hub is a thing that that is you will all you will most likely uh, you will need that. So Docker Hub, Docker Hub is a is, is is like you can see like it's a GitHub. On GitHub, we publish our code, we share our code, and Docker in, with Docker Hub also like the developer. Uh, developer who, who developed an, an application and uh, if he wishes to share his code so they create image the docker image and they publish it to docker huh? so for example you can just find anything for example say i need to find a node.js image so type in node mongo and there are many there are many things so node and here you can see this is the docker official image of node.js and you can use it and uh, install uh, node.js uh, inside your docker inside your own application and you can ship it similarly you if you need a python image so search for python and you will find there are many packages developed many uh, images docker images built uh, already pushed on available on docker hub so you can choose you can choose select appropriately so there are multiple tags so we will uh, see uh, those uh, in the in coming sessions so stay tuned and uh, 
if you have any question or or a query up to so far so do let me know and i'll try to solve them answer them as soon as possible okay so till then take care bye bye thank you